I will be eternally grateful to Bessel van der Kolk because I think he was one of the first people to come out and talk about, for example, trauma-focused yoga and to talk about massage and to talk about music therapy. I mean, he's always on the cutting edge. And I think he also is married to someone who has brought that into his life personally. So it's been wonderful to see that kind of evolution in his thinking. And I agree 100%. Trauma tends to be embedded in the right hemisphere of the brain. Uh, trauma is a full body experience. Um, you can't just cognitively discuss trauma and assume that everything's gonna fall into place. And now we have all these wonderful body therapies and just so many attempts at integrating. And it's not that anyone's saying verbal therapy has to be eliminated. I don't think that'll ever happen. It just has its time and it has its place. I'm going to be covering a lot of the expressive therapies. So that's play and sand and art and drama and movement. And we're going to have a lot of fun. But to me, this training gives me the opportunity to do experiential learning. And so at least to give people an opportunity for experiential learning. So every day they'll be doing something. They'll get their hands into something. Um, they'll be moving in particular ways so that they can develop a sense of being intentional with the things they do. A lot of people have toys in their room and it's unintentional kind of let's see what the kid does or here's a way that we can, you know, kind of what's that called? Um, build a bridge for the child. Mm -hmm. But this is using these techniques to advance a treatment goal. This is applying them in such a way that makes sense with your theoretical orientation. So each day, I'm hoping for experiential learning, um, stretching that comfort zone a little bit, but then going into applicability and integration. So I'm going to teach you something. How do you make that your own? How does that get tweaked so that you can apply it and feel like it's theoretically congruent with what you do? So it's making it your own. You know, my my idea is basically that this will be introductory for people who don't necessarily use any of the expressive therapies. We're talking about a continuum of expressive therapists. So my idea is the play therapist, for example, might really enjoy being exposed to more art therapy and vice versa. Um, I also would like for people who do have a lot of training and background in play therapy or let's say art therapy or whatever, to have that opportunity to think more clinically about how to deepen the work. So no one's going to leave being a certified play therapist or art therapist or anything like that, but it'll be, an, uh, I think people will have an understanding of the basic principles of expressive therapies, when they can be applied, what the value of applying them is, and just really thinking more critically and intentionally about how to apply these methods to advance the therapy goals that you have for your clients.